Question 2.29 gives the metabolic rate of 12 women. We have 12 numbers here. Each is a metabolic rate of a woman in the group. Now let's go to crunch it. So the column here is um, the list of metabolic rates of the 12 women. Now if we have to find the mean, median, uh, quartiles or the standard deviation of this uh, set of numbers, remember that these are raw data. So we go to statistics, go to descriptive statistics, select the column that is select the numbers for which you want to find um, the number summaries which is the median, the mean, the standard deviation and the quartiles and hit calculate. You get a table here. The first number is n. n is the sample size. The second number is x bar. x bar is the sample mean. So it is the average of all these numbers. It's 1235. The next number is the standard deviation denoted by the letter s. So the sta sample standard deviation s is 188.3. The smallest number in the list is the minimum, which is 913. Q1 is the first quartile, 1088. The median is the middle number, 1230. Q3 is the upper quartile, uh, which is 1407. And the largest number, which is the maximum, is 1502. If the distribution is symmetric. We can describe the distribution by using just the two numbers, which is the mean and the standard deviation. So a symmetric distribution, uh, for a symmetric distribution, we need just the mean, which represents the center, and the standard deviation S, which represents the spread. It measures the spread of the data, and that is 188.3. If the distribution is skewed, then the mean and the standard deviation is not enough to describe the distribution. We need the five number summary to describe a skewed distribution. We, the five number summary is the minimum, Q1, median, Q3, and the maximum. So we need the five numbers for the skewed distribution. Also remember that the three numbers Q1, median, and Q3 divide the data set into four equal parts.